Welcome to Module 5, Lesson 1. Today we're going to begin our study of volume by counting centimeter cube blocks. A centimeter cube block is just a cube that is one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter deep for a volume of one cubic centimeter. In this first example, we have um, uh, all we have to do is count the cubes. So we have on the bottom one, two, three cubic centimeters plus the top gives me four, five cubic centimeters total. My explanation here is I counted three cubes in the bottom layer and two in the top layer. Doesn't need to be more difficult than that. In my next example, I have uh, some choices. Uh, basically, I'm going to break this up into layers. And I can either, uh, I want to choose a layer that I can see the whole thing. So I can either choose like the top layer here. Uh, in that case, I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six in the top layer. Uh, and I have two layers, so uh, I have a total of uh, six on the top and six on the bottom, which gives me a volume of 12 cubic centimeters there. Alternatively, I could have uh, looked at the side here and saw that there were four in a layer, and then I had uh, one layer, two layers, three layers of that, or four times three also gives me my 12 centimeters cubed. For my explanation, I just said I counted two layers of six cubes and two groups of six. Two times six is 12. The next um, figure is as hard as it gets. Again, we're going to want to break this up into pieces. You can do top and bottom. You could do the sides. Um, I'll show you two different ways here. The first way we're going to do it is we're going to look uh, from the sides over. And so right here, I can count four. I have a similar shape over here of four. And in the middle, I have one. And one plus four plus four equals nine centimeters cubed. I also could look at the bottom layer. And that's where you have to kind of use your... Uh, spatial reasoning. So in the bottom here, I can see I have uh, one right here, two, three, four, and then there's one back here in the back. So I have five. And then the top, are e they're easier to see. So there's one, two, and there's one, two, for a total of five, plus two, plus two, which again is nine centimeters cubed. For my explanation, I said I counted five cubes in the bottom layer and four in the top, and five plus four is nine. So representing uh, three-dimensional figures in a two-dimensional space, in other words, a flat piece of paper, this can be kind of a challenge sometimes uh, for students, but once I think you see it, and if you have a method for approaching it, then it becomes not such a big deal. So in this uh, example, I have to draw a figure with a volume of seven cubic units. So it helps to have a bit of a, uh, a methodology here when you're, when you're drawing these. And the way I like to do it is to start with the faces. And so I'm going to plan this out. I've got to use uh, seven cubic units. So I'm going to break it up into four and three. So I'm going to start with the faces. And uh, I'm going to, there's one, two, three, four. So there's that first layer of faces, and then I'm going to do a layer of three faces on top of it. And there's that. Next, I've got to give it some depth. I've got to give my third dimension, so I'm going to go this way with it on all the cubes that would be visible. And then I'm going to give it a back. Just like so. And there's my drawing. Easy as that. And that's all we have for today.